All right, Who's el who else is unhappy with the president's decision? John Boehner, Mario Diaz Bullard, and more Republicans, most Republicans, who are calling the president an appeaser in chief. John, one Democrat, Bob Menendez, uh, on foreign relations, is against this deal, but we've, he's the only Democrat we found against it. Why are Republicans reacting so vociferously? Uh, because they're living in another era, somehow. Um, one of the most striking things that's happened over the last 10 years or so is that American public opinion, not just nationally, not just among, not just in Florida, uh, but even in Miami-Dade County among Cuban Americans, uh, public opinion has wildly shifted on this issue. They are in favor of what the president's done today. These people are arguing, I think, on the basis of a political calculation that might have been true 20 years ago is not true any longer. Now, look, I think Republicans could be unhappy, and Congress in general. The president did this without much consultation. He's doing some things that's not entirely clear within his power. But lots of presidents, President Clinton tried to do this, lots have tried. And I think Republicans, you know, the president might be harming congressional relations by doing it, but I think Republicans should be picking a different fight. The, the country is on the side of the president on this issue. And in fact, I think the president is just, just simply right on this matter. If you, do, if you detest the Castros, if you want to bring uh, change, if you want to bring the downfall of the oppressive regime, regime that has ruled Cuba, the best thing to do is engagement, trade, tourism, openness, all that stuff. That's the best way to undermine these people not pursuing the strategy that has kept them in power for the past 50 years. Here's one thing I'll say, and I'm inviting Twitter attacks by saying it. I do believe on the body language of, of Cruz and Rubio and others that they actually, this is genuine disagreement with the president. They may be wrong, and I know you think they are, but this is not to score political points. This is not to play to the base or win back the national security argument. They seem emotionally caught up in thinking this is fundamentally wrong. Well, either that or for some reason they think that there still is a political, I mean, I, I think there's some political calculation here, and these guys do want to look tough, and they do want to attack Barack Obama on foreign policy. Anything that can get them, to, they can put in the bag of a peaser in chief, they'll try to stuff in there, and I think that's well, what could this get them issue. in the short term? Well, it can get them, again, it gets them airtime, for one thing, and makes them look like, as we've talked about before, who's tough enough to go up against Hillary Clinton? Someone who could beat up on President Obama, they go out and beat up on President Obama this way and lump them all in the same.